When Papa Conzi picks the olives, everybody has work to do, from Mario, who helps in the trees, down to the youngest in the family. It's for Nerina and Domenico to gather the olives on the ground. Hey, Domenico, don't be so slow. Even Leona is quicker. There's Sister Angelina calling. Portate più olive. Ancora più olive. Yes, they want more olives up there in the shed, where Mama Conti and Angelina are sorting them. It's a good harvest this year, Mama thinks. They've plenty of ripe brown olives this year, and enough willing hands to harvest them. But what's Domenico doing? Why, he's going off with Grandpapa to haul a load of olives to the mill. Through the village they ride, and there above on the hillside is the church where they all go to worship. On past the school where Leona and Domenico will soon be back at their books again. And at last to the olive mill. Domenico always likes to watch the big old stones rolling round crushing the olives to a pulp. Now they are putting the crushed olives into the press, and they start the press to squeezing them. Squeezing out the rich oil of the olives. Mmm, buon sapore. But look at Grandpapa. Vieni subito, Domenico. Come quickly, the day is almost over. Today is market day. Mama and the young people are going to the city. Domenico is guarding the chicken. Mama takes these in to sell in the marketplace. There's the monastery, founded by the good St. Francis of Assisi. And these are monks who live in the monastery. Buongiorno, padre. Good day, fathers, they say as they pass. And now they see the city, the beautiful old city of Assisi. And into the city streets they go, through a great gate in the old city wall. There's the famous church, also named for the good St. Francis of Assisi. And here at last is the marketplace. On market days like this, people come from everywhere round about to buy and to sell their wares. Now for all the wonderful sights in the marketplace. A visit to the city doesn't come every day, and there's so much to look at. There are sweets to buy and mead to drink. There are laces and trinkets and wonderful food. But Mama is busy selling her chickens. Quanto costerebbe? How much? Hmm, they're not very fat. I'll give you 500 liters. Only 500 liters? No, no, senor. They're, they're worth 800 at least. <laughs> Of course, Mama wants to get the very best price. The girls have found a lady doing needlework. She's putting a delicate design on a fine tablecloth. Ah, bellissima. How pretty it is. Mario is visiting an old friend. All day long in the marketplace, he paints pottery in bright, lively colors. But now to watch them playing bocce. Mario can always find the game of bocce going on in the square. It's the favorite sport.
<laughs> a good throw right beside the Paulino. The fountain's a good place to cool off, and Leona and Domenico are tired of running about, so they're willing enough when Mario says it's time to go. Mama Conti has sold her chickens and bought a few things for the family. Now they're ready to let the little donkey take them back over the long road home. Today, Mama is making polenta. She's just now putting the cornmeal into the pot. Mama makes polenta almost every day, but this, this is for a special celebration. They're having a festa to celebrate the good harvest of the olives. The table is already set out here under the trees. And here come the guests. Buongiorno, amici. Piacere di vedervi. Good friends and neighbors are always glad to see each other, and everyone enjoys a festa. Mama invites them all to the table. Ecco la polenta, and Mama brings it in, the great tray of polenta. Polenta is a kind of cornmeal mush, you know. Often it makes a whole meal by itself. But polenta tastes better at a festa. Now Mama serves a special treat. And finally, to mix the olive oil into the crisp green salad. Yes, there's always good food and fun at the Feast of the Olive Harvest.